Ahoy, you scurvy dogs. My name is HippoTC, and I want to welcome you back to another Sea of Thieves guide. In this video, I'm going to cover everything you need to know about these new sea forts in Sea of Thieves and all of the brand new commendations. If you like this video, hit that like button, comment down below, and help. If I could get you to subscribe, it would get me one step closer to 100,000 subscribers, which would be awesome. Anyways, let's jump into the video. Sea of Thieves Season 6 introduces six explorable sea forts that can now be found across the seas. These new forts have regional style, so they look a little bit different depending on where they are on the seas. These forts are what Rare is calling on demand, and they are designed to be kind of a short encounter for players, with the difficulty scaling based on the crew that activates it. In other words, it will be a little bit more challenging for larger crews and a bit easier for solo sloops. It appears these forts activate when you approach and will respawn after a short time if you complete them. When a sea fort is activated, there will be a race flag and ghostly lights to let you know it is active and being defended. On approach, players will hear a warning bell as the phantoms begin to take aim with the fort's cannons to defend it. Completing these sea forts are pretty straightforward. Basically, you're going to face off against waves of phantoms as you and your crew enter and explore. The final wave of the sea fort will have a phantom captain that once defeated will drop a treasury key, getting you access to the fort treasury and allow you and your crew to retrieve the spoils of your hard work. These phantoms also seem to have treasure hidden throughout the fort, so make sure to search through the crates, cupboards, drawers, and whatever else opens as you discover some secret stashes, and maybe even find a hidden key to the locked storage room on top of the fort. This key is fairly easy to find, and in the storage room, you can find even more treasure. Now let's talk commendations. There are a total of 10 new commendations that you can work towards in this new update, and they all focus around sea forts. You can see them here in your menu. All of these seem to be pretty straightforward and easy to achieve, and most of them will just take you time. So while you are out on your adventures, make sure to stop by these forts and you will have them completed in no time. A bonus thing here though to work towards is there is brand new Xbox achievements as well that you can unlock with a total of 65 gamer score to earn. What's yours is mine you get by opening a C4 treasury, master burglar for discovering 100 secret stash treasure items at sea forts and from whence they came for defeating 250 sea fort phantoms now once a fort is completely cleared you can treat this new place as your own you will find everything a good pirate crew needs to throw a party including four freaking burners for your food which is great for the wonderful cooks out there that don't burn their food there's even an interactive map of the sea of thieves for planning your next adventure these forts are also packed with supplies, so once completed, make sure to go around and gather up all those supplies with a storage crate. In my tests, they delivered a very healthy amount of supplies, making it a great place to stop for them. And like I said, once you've claimed a fort, you can pretty much do whatever you want. From our tests, they do reset pretty quickly, though it does look like you have to be a minimum of two squares away from a fort to have the opportunity for it to reset. All in all, I think these are a great addition to the game for new players, though I would have loved to see a way for players to kind of activate these forts for a more PvP focused encounter. Imagine for a moment the ability to activate the fort and letting the server know you are there and ready to defend it with your life. I think that would be pretty awesome. Maybe it's something that we see in the future. Anyways, what do you guys think? What did I miss? Let me know in the comments below.